is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, I'm going. <clears throat> What's good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis. Coming to you with a quick video about the San Antonio Spurs. This is a team that hasn't lived up to what we thought they would be. I had the San Antonio Spurs making it to the playoffs, and the big reason of that was DeJounte Murray, who hasn't had the season that I thought he would have, the resurgence that I thought he would have. And the overall whole San Antonio Spurs, they just haven't, you know, figured it out. They haven't been able to put a, a good run together. They haven't had the consistency that you would need to be a playoff team, and they know that because they've been in the playoffs for over 20 years in a row. And this this team is just not getting the job done. They stay packed with this roster, and they haven't made any trades. They haven't really gave up on anybody outside of Damari Carroll, who wasn't really a great fit. Anyway, their defense is not where it needs to be. Their offense isn't clicking and moving and, and knocking down shots consistently the way that it usually do. And... Now you just ask the question, is it even worth making that push for the playoffs? Even though you do have pride involved, you do have, you know, foundation involved and the organization, that's what they want. They want to make the playoffs. They want to be consistently doing that. And even if that's not the best case for this team, this team is just okay. They, they're okay. But DeJounte Murray, I hold him to a high standard. I feel like he can really be the biggest difference maker compared to last year. Like I said before, everybody had the Spurs out of the playoffs really last year, especially at the Lonnie Walker and DeJounte went down with injuries. Everybody was really ready to write off the Spurs. Everybody gave up on the Spurs, and I was one of the people that stayed with them and said that they will make the playoffs, they will figure it out. Ended up, They ended up doing that. By the time the season was over, and they ended up going seven games as the number two Z Denver Nuggets. And I don't see that in this team right now. And DeJounte Murray just haven't lived up to it. He, he hasn't, his efficiency is up, but I don't really see that franchise changing ability like I was seeing before he got injured. And even though he still can hit that level, I'm not saying he will or he won't. He hasn't had the impact on defensively or offensively on the game that needs to be done. This team stayed pat. This team brought back a lot of the same players. This team is a healthier, but the NBA has gotten better. Each and every year, it's hard to bring back the same team or a little bit worse and expect the same results. That's the NBA. Everybody's trying to win. Everybody's trying to put their best team together so that way they can have a chance to win the championship, and that means you have to make it to the playoffs. And adding Lonnie Walker, adding DeJounte Murray, you would think that that will be the missing piece that will give them that extra push, that after that, that extra athleticism, that that extra you know shift in, in style of play. And it has worked from some games, but it hasn't worked consistently. And I'm just very shocked that this team has played this way all season. They never looked like a legitimate team. They never looked like a legitimate playoff team for over two weeks. And I never would have thought coming into that season, this is how the Spurs would be. And I just can't believe it right now. But I really felt that Popovich will figure it out. I felt like he will find a way to get the right lineups, to get the right teams. And I'm not putting all the blame on Popovich because the players still got to knock down the shots. The players still got to play defense. They still got to execute the schemes offensively and defensively. He can implement it, but they still have to do their part. And the players haven't did it. They, they haven't did and took their game to that level. They haven't really showed commitment to where they need to be to be a playoff team and the crazy part about this team is there they have the veterans that have been through it they had the same team last year and a lot of those guys elevated their play to another level they took losing a different way and went out there and approached it a different way compared to this season and mentality wise i don't really know what these guys are thinking i feel like demar Rosen is the best version of himself these last couple of weeks, and he elevated his efficiency. He started being more dependable, and 
he also has been able to, you know, maximize his strengths. He ha- he doesn't shoot the three. He never been the greatest defender, but he still found a way to take his game to another level. I just didn't see the team follow that. Usually your best player has to do that, and the team will go behind them and do it with them. And I haven't seen them commit defensively, offensively, and none of these guys have been consistent outside of DeMar DeRozan. I feel like LaMarcus, I didn't feel like he was an all-star last year. I feel like DeMar DeRozan should have been an all-star last year. But LaMarcus got hot, and he ended up getting it, and they was able to ride that hot hand throughout the rest of the season. But this year, nobody has got hot. Nobody has really changed the way they played or elevated the way they play outside of DeMar DeRozan. And you usually don't see that with a veteran team. The veteran teams literally understand what they have to get done and what they have to change. And they do those things to help themselves win. And they hold themselves to that standard of we have to be the best version of ourselves. We have to go in there and put out, put the work in. And we have to do what the coach asks us. And we have to also go out there and fight. And I don't see the fight in this team, and I don't see it defensively. I don't see it in, in none of the players, and I can't believe that I'm saying that. A San Antonio team led by Greg Popovich, they don't have that fight in them. They don't have that that, that nasty that he said when they was going crazy against the Heat. They are just not the Spurs. What's really going on with them? And Pop called them out. I haven't seen Pop really call out this team at all. I don't really – this don't look like the Spurs right now. They're not playing like the Spurs. They're not defending like the Spurs. They're they're not even executing this scheme. And I don't know if it's the personnel. I don't know if it's players don't like playing with each other. I don't know if it's just a bad combination of players. I don't know if it's just the wrong lineups that's not really getting the best out of their players. Whatever it is, the Spurs, they're not getting it done. And they're getting further and further away from being a playoff team to the point where it looks like they're not going to make it. And I didn't feel that way even when they got off to a bad start because they got off to a bad start last year. I didn't really think about counting out the Spurs. And now I'm looking at their record. I'm looking at the way they have played all season this year. And I'm looking like if the all-star break don't wake them up, if it don't show them that they're not good enough right now and they don't elevate their play, on both sides of the court, they're going to miss it. And all good things come to the end. The dynasty might finally have a crack in it and people exposed it and ripped it open. Whatever it is, this ain't the Spurs. It's not. And that even the Spurs fan will admit that. Even Popovich will admit that. And now I'm just looking at the team. I'm, I'm looking at the athletes. I'm looking at the veterans. And they're just not getting the job done at the end of the day. But as a person that watches every player, I really don't see one player that can really change this team the next couple weeks and get them to where they need to go. I don't see that player. I don't see what they really can do because I haven't seen it throughout this whole year. And I don't think nothing new is really going to spark that because they've been losing so much this year that you would think that they would have figured it out without me even having to make this video. They haven't done that all season. So I don't see what will really change for me to think that they will get it done when this is how they've been playing. So at the end of the day, we still going to watch. We still going to see people always say you can't really count out the Spurs just because they always do it. They always find a way. But something about this team, I don't have the same belief. I don't have the same feeling. And I think the fans will even agree with me on that because they done did it all season so far. So at the end of the day, we still have to watch it. We still have to see it. And this might be the first time in over 20 years that we see the dynasty come to an end. They will finally collapse and fall out the sky. And they will have to put it back together and rebuild with a new personnel. And Popovich, I don't think he's going to be going anywhere. I think he's going to ride it out the next couple of seasons. And we'll see where they go from there. Right now, I don't see a franchise changing player on either end of the court right now that they can really build around. Like I said, I'm not I'm disappointed a little bit in Lonnie. He hasn't been getting the minutes. He hasn't really had the opportunity. He has had flashes. Same with DeJounte Murray. Derek White really showed Derek White showed a lot. Last year he has been inconsistent all season. And that hasn't changed this whole year. And DeMar, you know, he only gonna take you so far. 
and I don't really feel like he's going to take you to a title in the Western Conference. Remember, they did get to the Eastern Conference Finals in Toronto, but I don't see him doing that in the Western Conference with guys like Kawhi Leonard, LeBron, and Jokic and them in there. And, you know, I feel like DeMar DeRozan has been the best version of himself right now, and that's just not enough, and that just shows you that if your best player can't lead, if your best player can't really push you to that next level, which he did try to, the whole team collapses. And that's what we're starting to see. But let me know what you guys think about the Spurs. Is the Spurs going to make the playoffs as I'm tripping, as I'm going crazy? Whatever you feel, let me know in the comment section below. At the end of the day, we all know it's true. We all know that this should be in, the end. And we will see what the Spurs are made of. They got a couple more. They got a lot of games left. They got a lot of time to still correct it. They got a lot of time still to figure it out. And we got, you know, over a month of basketball to play. Will the Spurs get it done? Will they take their game to a level that we haven't seen all year? Or will they be the same Spurs that we've seen all year that's just not good enough to compete in the Western Conference every day and night like we thought they would be able to do coming into this season? Honestly, I think the Spurs don't make it. And I don't think I would have said that, especially with this amount of games left with Popovich and his coaching staff and how the organization is. I'm giving up on the Spurs. And I won't be the first person to do it because I feel like this team, they're not playing the Spurs brand of basketball. And I'm going to be the first person to say it. So if you agree, let me know in the comment section below. If you disagree, let me, let, let me know in the comment section below. And at the end of the day, if you're new to the channel, Check out my older videos. If you like this video, I got other videos. So check those out. And if you like those too, subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook page, AnalysisPlayground.com. Link up in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody that liked on Facebook. Thanks for everybody that will. Also, check out my website, AnalysisPlayground.com. Link up in the description, comment section below. Thanks for everybody that checked that out. Also, I'm Quinn Way Basketball Analysis. So, if you like these videos, you like my other videos, subscribe. And at the end of the day, let me know what you guys feel about me, the Spurs, in the comment section below. And I'm gone.